fame. If you want fame, mm. that's what I wanted. I wanted to be mm. famous, like mm. Michael Jackson. Looking back, I could see how I was re re recouped for, for a brotherhood, if you like. Being, trying to be recruited for a brotherhood. When you are in the music industry, I don't care what anybody says, when you're in the music industry and you are making it in that sense of success, there are certain things that you're going to have to do, certain places you're going to have to go. Uh, souls will be sold, hmm. basically. Now, what do you mean by that? People sell their soul every day, Hayford, in the music industry. Oh. Not just in the music industry. Like, they invoke spirits mm. in you. Mm. Have you ever been to a Jay-Z concert or seen a Jay-Z concert? Mm. No. These people be there like, Hova, Hova, Hova. Bro, I went myself mm. in the early days. I found myself, Hova, Hova. Welcome to another video, and this time we're seeing a guy from the UK, an artist from the UK, who wanted to be famous, get a reality check after he was told to do unspeakable things to get fame and success in the music industry. You know, a lot of artists, a lot of uh, people actually start like this, and not just in the music business. Like, if you actually want to make it to some certain level of success, like if you want to rule with the big boys, if you want to rule with the top guys, the elite in the industries, you need to go through some certain process, some certain um, 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 things you need to do and some certain people you need to appease before, you understand, before you gain such fame. Like there was an artist I was listening to some other time and he was saying that if you want to go gold, there are some things you need to do, you understand? But if you want to go platinum, you need to take your level of sacrifice to the next level. And if you want to go diamond, something exactly like that. So when you see an artist going gold or platinum or diamond, bro, it's not what you think. It's not that a lot of people actually love this person. No, this is not what you asked for. This is what was put in front of you and you took it and made it seem like something you asked for. They make it seem like the people asked for this or they make it seem like this is what the people want. Like yesterday at least I was listening to random music on Spotify and before you know it, there's this artist Sexy Red came on the, the air and I was just listening Is this music. This is not music at all. This is, I could remember that um, J. Cole's interview where he says, this music we're listening to is rotting us, is killing us, but it makes money. So it's helping somebody. I don't know if you guys have watched that interview, but if you haven't, I'd say, I recommend you guys watch it. J. Cole was still very, very young at that time. So um, this guy now saying the same thing that before he could make it, he had to go through this process. They took him to some place, not just not even in the US, this are not in the UK back. He, he found himself in Zimbabwe. Yes, if you guys watch um, the full video, he found himself in Zimbabwe. And they told him to do unspeakable things. You know, um, I was reading about Didi some days ago, and um, in that article they wrote that Didi would make you do some crazy, crazy, crazy things. And he said, if you can make some, make the artists do crazy things, they can do anything for you. So it got me thinking. If you guys want to watch the full video, it's not available.